In this video we're going to have a look at how the Slam Breda uh, AC regulator and battery charger works. I have set it up with uh, a variable AC input here which simulates the output from the stator plate. This terminal is the output from the regulator and goes to an oscilloscope so we can see the waveforms and to a voltage meter and this output goes to this battery here, 12 volt uh, motorcycle battery and remaining connections to earth. I've done tests with them without the C terminal which is the sense terminal for the voltage connected to here or not and it makes no difference so for now there's no connection on there. So looking back at the overall test setup it's a bit of a Heath Robinson affair. Um, over here we have a variable AC source which can be continuously varied and it feeds a plug pack and this plug pack can give up to 24 volts AC out which goes into that input terminal here and the output waveforms from the regulator are registered here with one of them being this battery being monitored so on here the upper waveform is the AC output and the lower waveform is the DC uh, effectively the DC current going into the battery and for completeness there's an AC uh, voltmeter here so if we start off um, increasing the output from the stator this is what happens on the crow so uh, this would simulate at low speeds it would simulate an idle connection, an idle situation on the, on the motor uh, where this voltage peak is less than 10 volts typically you get less than 12 volts out of the Lambretta stator on idle and as you ramp up the engine speed the output would come up what's not shown here is that also the output frequency would change but for, for now we're just using the 50 hertz off the main so up comes the output as the engine speed increases and as we get to 12 volts you can see this waveform starts to flatten out that's because on this positive half cycle there's a rectifier inside the regulator which feeds this small current blip into the battery so you can see these current blips happen once per cycle so this is 50 hertz sine wave so we're going to get 50 current blips per a second into the battery and the harder we push this the more output from the stator the higher the engine revs the more current goes into the battery and the bottom of this waveform is still increasing but the top's not it's because the top's limited by the battery voltage but the bottom will continue to increase as I turn the dial up and at some point a regulator inside the device kicks in and limits the amount of output on the negative half cycle so now instead of this waveform smoothly coming back to here it's being clamped to zero volts and the harder this is pushed in other words the more engine revs I have going the greater this period for which the output's clamped this ensures that overall the output from the the AC output from the regulator is 12 volts AC comprised of 0 volts here, 12 volts constant here while we're charging, back to 0 volts down to minus 20 volts and then at this particular condition it's clamped to 0 volts for that period. On average that corresponds to 12 volts AC and we can see that on this meter over here um, this voltage here, I've turned the, the uh, voltage down now so we're back to an idle condition so this is like the motor's idling and we're getting seven or eight volts out of the stator as we increase the output from the stator up comes the voltage to something above 13 volts and then as I push harder and harder on this dial over here just increasing this voltage this doesn't exceed 13 and, 13 and a bit volts at any point in time so the regulator is working, it's giving something around 
11 to 12 volts, 11, 12, 13 volts output depending on what the stator condition is. So overall that's the waveform. Yes it's regulating and the current into the battery is a 50 hertz cycle. Now there are some people who take the earth off one end of their stator coil and using a four-way bridge you can get another, another charging cycle in here but this, this particular regulator doesn't do that.